Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a controversial topic. Do you really need an MBA to be a business owner? So let's go ahead and discuss that. My name is Jose and I am an entrepreneur. I've been working on SaaS companies and technology companies for the past 10 years. And one of the things that always people come up and ask me is, do you really need an MBA to be a business owner or to start a business? And I, they asked me that question because I have one and I took that MBA for two years. It was really long ago, probably around 15 years back and because I am a business owner and I have a successful business did that had any influence on me so let's talk about that so if you go and look for the statistics you will find that there's not a lot of information about do business owners have an MBA but there is a little bit of information showing that most business owner less than 20 percent less than 20 percent have a master's degree we don't know what master's degree is that but less than 20 percent have a master's degree meaning 80 percent of the business owners or entrepreneurs out there they don't have a master's degree so that's the first clue do you really need to have an mba but if you touch into other areas and you think about, let's say, big companies like uh, Apple, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, none of them have an MBA, none of them have a master's degree. Even more, some of them are dropouts from university. That doesn't mean that you don't need a degree, but just keep in mind that most of these entrepreneurs and these business people, they don't have a master's degree. So that's the first clue that you probably don't need to have a master's degree to have a successful company. So that's one of the things that you need to figure out and you need to look at the historical concepts around that. Do they have a master's degree? Did Henry Ford have a master's degree? So probably you don't need it, but let's talk more about if it really helps. From my experience, what I think really helps is having hands-on experience. So that's how really I learned how to run a business is getting in there and do the daily work. There's nothing comparable than doing the actual work yourself, doing the accounting, doing the finance, doing the marketing, doing the selling, because that's the best way of you learning experience and learning how to do this stuff. And one of the things that I think about is that when you are an MBA, you get to know marketing, you get to know selling, you get to know finance, but you will get to know those topics in a limited way. You will learn about those in a textbook, for example. But when you go and do your business, those things might be different depending on the business that you're doing. Because if you're doing crafting or baking, it's completely different than if you're doing technology and a SaaS online. Completely different businesses, marketing is completely different. So you probably won't see all those different methods or all those different processes when you are really doing an MBA. The other thing that I would like you to consider is the cost factor of an MBA. MBAs are expensive. They are really expensive. And more if you wanna do it in a nice school. In my thinking, and again, this is my personal thinking, you can actually get that money and invest it in the business that you wanna start because that's one of the best way for you to try and learn is that investing the money in the business and trying things like marketing and selling and actually getting that business off the ground because you're gonna need money to get a business off the ground. And if you have extra money to invest in an MBA, you can probably take part of that money and actually start your business and actually get things going. That's something that I personally think about and like you're gonna take a risk doing an MBA. So why not take the risk with the money and do it in a business of course this is completely different if you are talking about a career like if you are escalating inside and you're already employed and not to five job and you want to escalate then maybe it might be a good idea to invest in an mba because maybe that would help out but if your idea and is starting a business probably you can invest that money in that business the other thing to think about is that knowledge it's out there it's free and it's in the internet so technology has now democratized knowledge meaning it's accessible to anyone and you can learn a lot of stuff online with a lot of courses that are cheaper than an mba and there are a lot of those courses that are also free that you don't need to worry about getting that information into textbooks or going to university you can actually get out there you can actually look for videos, YouTube videos. You can do, look for courses. There are a lot of courses around marketing out there that it will cost you way less than an MBA. 
So knowledge is out there. Go out and get it. Even books are cheap right now. You can get ebooks and Kindle and start reading and that will help you out. That's one of the things that have put me out a lot in my business too. Doing books, reading a lot of books and doing courses. Like I learned a lot too doing those. The other thing to consider is the time investment. So doing an MBA is probably a two year program. Usually that's the amount of time. Imagine if you can invest that time in a business actually failing. Even if you spend two years in a business failing, that's knowledge that you're gaining. That's, let me tell you something. Like my, my business wasn't growing that much for the first seven years. So during those seven years, I did a lot of failing and I did a lot of learning. But that time in, that I spent in there, those seven years, helped me out and prepare me for the next ones that were coming. So did I, if I had invested at maybe university, I would have spent all those time maybe just reading textbooks and reading things and, and learning things that are already defined out there. But uh, instead I was actually out there doing the business and failing and naturally learning. One of the things that I always advocate when you are doing a master's degree is the relationships. You are there to do relationships. And that's one of the best things that you can get out of an MBA or any master's course is the relationship that you build with the other people around there. Those people can help you out and you can leverage those friendships, maybe in other jobs or in other positions, or maybe you need advising, maybe those people can help. Usually if your goal is to start a business, Probably those people won't help you out a lot because those people don't have the skills to start a business or to advise people in starting a business. So you are better off doing relationships with people that have actually started a business and are skillful in growing businesses that can help you out. So those relationships try to build them also while building the business, while failing and, and build that network to help you out. Probably the network of people in the MBA won't help you because they are in a different stage. They are maybe trying to grow in their career in the nine to five and they are not looking to start a business. Now, I'm not saying that an MBA is a bad thing. Let's be careful with that. Is it, a, it is a good thing, but it depends on the goals that you're looking for. So when I did my MBA, I really learned a lot on the finance, marketing, selling, and I have good relationships. But what I wanted to show you is that and tell you is that those things that I learned in the MBA, they were good when I was working in my nine to five job. The moment I started my business and I focused full time in my business, those things that I learned in the MBA really didn't help me that much because the marketing things that I'm using right now uh, for my business are completely different to what I learned back there. And the HR, human resources management is completely different right now. This is, well, I'm running a remote company. We've never talked about remote companies in, a, in my MBA. The finance side is completely different too. Running a technology business, financially accounting wise, is completely different than regular businesses. So all those things I have to learn by myself, all those things I have to look for, read books, go to courses online to actually apply those in my business. Again, like I said, but if your goal is to grow in your nine to five job, then for sure MBA probably would help you out. So again, thanks for standing till the end. And I hope these things clarify if you actually need an MBA and you wanna get into that. And for sure go ahead but just keep in mind these points and if you are trading off and if your goal is actually to start a business so please remember to subscribe and click that bell button so you can get more videos like this thank you